I've never in my life seen someone with all the facts come up with something so far from the truth. You should hear yourself. I wish you could hear yourself. You know, you are always the one. I know. Always. Evangeline was the perfect daughter, and I wasn't. I did not say that. Mama, I'm not trying to disrespect you. But you raised both of us to fight for what's right. And that's what I'm doing. If Evangeline loved Christian half as much as you say, don't you think he might be the one person who can get through to her? The one person she's needed to hear from all this time? The one person you've been keeping from her? Mrs. Williamson, not a day goes by that I don't pray for Evangeline and wonder what might have been different if I hadn't let her go. You're right. You know, I shouldn't have let my ego get in the way of letting her know how much I love her. But I'd like her to hear that now. If uh, you'll just let me speak to her. I mean, I, I think she deserves to know how sorry I am. Don't you? I am so sorry. I should have never blurted out to Jared that we slept together. I don't really care. Why did you tell him? I don't know. I told you I was just stupid. You know, and he was he was acting like he was still interested and it kind of freaked me out. So I just just wanted him to know that we were done and over with and I was moving on. What are you trying to convince? Him or yourself? Dorian, you are out of line. I'm out of line. <laughs> And when I think I came over here to do you a favor. <laughs> oh, really, what's wrong with me? Oh, that was an excellent question. I am not going to waste my breath trying to explain what happened here. Good, because I think you'd have a very hard time of it. Lindsay was right about you all these years. Dorian, I own the property on which you're fulminating. And regardless of whether or not you are through, I want you out of here before Cole wakes up and thinks he's moved into a nut house. Fine. There will be no more misguided gestures of goodwill on my part. Why, hello. Besides which, I do believe I've been focusing on the wrong Buchanan. I just don't ever want to let you go. How many times have you said that to Star? <laughs> but you have to let her grow up. Go off to college? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going anywhere, unlike Star. Whatever journeys I take, I'll always come back to love, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Is my sister pretentious or what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll always be my baby girl. You taught me to laugh through my tears. I like this, Mama. I like this so much. With the children sleeping rather late, shouldn't you wake them up? Oh, you're right. You're right. I should. I'll go through my list and, and we'll plan a day for us. If you'd like to help oh, work on it. I would, I would love it. I would love it. <sighs> Is this some kind of hint that I don't keep the place clean enough? No, I'm the one who doesn't do his share around here, but I swear I would help with an awesome appliance like this. So cleaning help. That's my present. No, I, this, 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 this isn't just any vacuum. This is the Dirt Hurt 2000. Puts the hurt in the dirt. I just figured you're always cleaning up my messes. You might as well have an appliance that does the job for real. Where are you going? Somewhere that isn't here. What's wrong? Don't you like it? If this is your way of making up for missing Christmas, it sucks. But, but it's got five settings. I swear, you'll love it when we turn it on. Just help me turn it on and... Oh, wait, there's something... There's something stuck inside. Can you just help me? Look, you'll love it when we get it turned on. Just tell me you've always got the magic touch. Not this time. Oh, come on! Just turn it on! Your mom said that this was the perfect gift. Oh. Well, that will teach you to listen to my mother. Can you just stick your fingers in here, please? Mine won't fit. Fine. Then I 
hurt the dirt hurt than you. Okay? There, okay? It's out.